Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to score. On your scorecard, there is going to be a line for each person on your group, on your team, okay, or in your line. So if there's four of you, then all four spots get taken up. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So I put my name in the first spot. The next person, Coach Baco, puts his name in the next spot. Ms. Roldan is the third bowler. Ms. Garcia is the fourth bowler. We each have our own line. We each have our own line. So there is going to be another line below, just looking like special, looking just like this. Okay. There are four exact same lines. The only thing that's not on your scorecard are the yellow, or the red and blue circles. Okay, that's not on your scorecard. This is just on here for this purpose. Now, when I get up to bowl, okay, I'm the first bowler. I get up, I take my bowl. My pin setter is going to tell me how many bowling pins I knock down zero, all the way to 10, whatever my number is. However many I knock down, I am going to put it in this gray box with the plus sign. This is how many bowling pins I've knocked down. So let's say I bowl and I knock down three. I am going to put a three in that box. Now I have to put my total score too. So what is my total score at this point? Three. So I put my total score in the white L looking box. Where my blue circle is. But do you have a blue circle on your paper? No. Okay. So I put my three there. So in this, so then we keep going. We keep taking turns. Okay. Coach Bato knocks down nine. What is his total score? Nine. None. Okay. Miss Roldan gets up. She knocks down all ten. Her total score is now ten. So we put that in the in the large white box for their line. Miss Garcia gets up. She knocks down five. Her total score is five. five. So we have now each taken a turn. We have all taken our first turn. Everyone has marked in their own box, on their own line. Do we all follow? Now, we start back over for our second turn. So I take my second turn, and we're going to box two because this is our second turn. And I knock down seven. So I put my seven in the gray box with the plus sign. My total score goes in the white L. How do I get my total score? I'm going to add the one from before. So this blue circle, I'm going to add it to whatever I just knocked down. Okay, so I'm going to add. So 3 plus 7 is 10. That is my new score. Okay, 10 is my new score. Coach Bato gets up, knocks down 3. What is his new score? 12. How did we get 12? We add the 9 plus 3, and that gives me 12. This will done. She either steps on the line, she hits the box, and then knocks the, uh, the bowling pins over, or it hits the back wall and knocks the bowling pins over. Those are all zeros. Or if it goes crooked, it's a, it's a zero. So we put a zero in that box. I take my score from before, the 10, and I add it. So 10 plus zero is 10. 
Okay, and Miss Garcia, she got lucky. She knocked down all 10. So then we add her score from before, which is five. We add it to the 10, and it gives her how many points? 15. Everyone now has taken two turns. Yes, everyone now has taken two turns. Now we're on our third turn. We come to box three, okay? We come to box three. I knock down three. What is my new score? What am I gonna add? I'm gonna do 10 because this was my old score. Does that make sense? I'm gonna take my 10, I'm going to add it to whatever I just knocked down. So 10 plus three is 13. Okay, Miss Patterson, Coach Bato then knocks down five. We take the old score, 12. We add it to what he knocked down, five, and that gives him a new score of 17. 17. Okay? We keep going. Ms. Roldan knocks down five. Old score plus what I knocked down gives me 15. Uh, Mrs. Garcia, she knocks down only two. We take the old score. We add it to what she knocked down. 15 plus two is 17. We have all taken our third turn. We now move to box four. Do we understand how this works? Any questions?